The interior of a cash drugstore was something considered newsworthy simply because of the sheer array of merchandise that was available. It was apparently like a vision of plenty in the middle of the depression. My name is Brian Burns. I'm a reporter here at the Kansas City Star. Uh, the book we're talking about is called The Kings of Cut Rate. This is a story about the Katz Drug Company founded here in Kansas City in about 1914 when Isaac and Michael Katz founded the company with two stores in downtown Kansas City. They very early on discovered the power of low, low prices. That's what they were all about. They advertised aggressively. They were also very good at presentation, at show business. Every opening of a new store was a major news event. It was part homecoming with uh, marching bands and parades. It was part movie premiere with searchlights outside. They also were very skilled at their in-store presentation when you would, apparently, when you would walk into these stores in the 1930s. The most common reaction described was just one of amazement. People were apparently not used to seeing such a vast array of merchandise in a drugstore. Yes, you could get your prescriptions filled, but you could also buy appliances. You could buy live animals. Uh, you could buy, after the end of Prohibition, alcohol. And there was a lot more going on there inside their stores than just a simple corner drugstore. Steve Katz, uh, who is a grandson of one of the founders, brought this idea to us. This drugstore chain has been gone literal, literally now for 40 years, since 1971. So one thing that we decided to do was invite readers of the Kansas City Star to send us emails of their memories and recollections of Katz drug. Well, this was a good idea because we were overwhelmed with responses. We received hundreds of emails from readers telling us their particular recollections of cats' drugs. Now, many of these were comparatively simple and straightforward. They told us that all the fond memories that they have of, say, the, the soda fountain or the music department. But still, other emails were remarkable. These came from people who told us that cats' drug played a significant role in their emotional lives. There was one remarkable example which is in the book of a husband and wife early in their marriage uh, taking the few dollars between them down to, Cat, down to a Cat's drug location on Christmas Eve to purchase each other's Christmas gifts at Cat's. It's, it's a story almost right out of O. Henry. This really surprised me. I mean, this is just a drugstore, right? What's the big deal? And so the challenge became how do we explain this profound emotional attachment people still, 40 years later, have to Katz's drug?